All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Sarah, and I'd like to welcome you to the Magic of Disney Animation. Today, we're going to give you a behind-the-scenes look into how we make some of that magic. And then some of you might make a little magic of your own in one of our drawing classes, or get to meet some of our characters. Speaking of which, I'm here to tell you about how we create those animated characters. You know, I think like everyone has their own favorite Disney animated character. I know I do. And with over a thousand of them, there's lots to choose from. But for this show, we really only need to pick one. So, let's see. How about this little lizard? Dragon, dragon, not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. <laughs> Characters go through lots of changes before we meet them. Like this guy. When Disney artist first started thinking about Mulan, Mishu wasn't Mishu. In fact, he wasn't even a dragon. They first. Hold it! Hold it! What do you mean I wasn't a dragon? Can you believe this? See, I'm a 100% grade A dragon. See, what's the... Well, Mushu, when Disney artist first started thinking about a sidekick for Mulan, you were absolutely nothing like you are now. Excuse me, who are you? I'm Sarah. And who are they? You're the audience. And what happened to China? You knocked it over. Anyway, Mushu, I'm delighted what? to tell you that out of all the Disney characters... You saying I may already be a winner? No, I'm saying I've chosen you to show everyone where Disney characters come from. I know where I came from. That's easy. All right. See, when a mama dragon and a papa dragon love each other, they're Really not what I meant. Maybe I should have chosen Timon. I heard that. Mushu, you're lucky to even be here today. Yeah, right. That's yeah, true, folks. Not every character makes it to the final film. Like in the movie Pocahontas, she originally had three sidekicks. They were a raccoon, a hummingbird, and a turkey. Say what? Well, they decided to choose company and three of the crowd, so they dropped. A hummingbird and a turkey? I don't even see that working for a sitcom. <laughs> hey, hey, don't crowd me, poultry. You're right. The story team realized that that turkey wasn't working, so they brought back Miko to be Pocahontas' sidekick. And the turkey became... an entree. Ooh, you eat the sidekicks you don't use? Well, let's put it this way. We've had some pretty interesting barbecues around here. Mm -hmm. Where's the guy? Oh yeah, characters develop in many ways. Hey. You're no different. The story Milan originally called for two different guardian characters. A phoenix and a griffin. What? And what? See, now I know you're crazy, because these guys don't look nothing like me. Well, that's because they hadn't thought of making you a dragon yet. Excuse me? I have always been a dragon. No, you haven't. Yeah, let me show you. Alright. You see? Me and my cousin, Ellie is the dragon. Me and my baseball team, the Chuichi dragon. You playing my game? Dungeons and Dragons, me and Cher. Hold on, what does Cher have to do with you being a dragon? Well, nothing. But you think Cher would be seen with either one of those two losers? What you looking at? Well, maybe some old friends will help you remember where you came it. from. Hi, Mushu. Remember me? It's the air is I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Sorry, folks, the volume's a little high. I remember when you were nothing more than an idea, Mushu. Mm -hmm. That's when I came in and started doing some sketches for how you might look. And you would be... He's one of your earliest designers that had a story development from Mulan. Hey, guys. Hey, Chris. Hi, everybody. Look, I gotta go and save China or something. That would be me, the dragon. Doesn't Chris look familiar, Mushu? Yeah, I think I saw his picture at the post office. I guess you really don't remember Mushu, but as we developed the story, we learned that two of you was too much Mushu and too little Mulan. Remember, the story is called Mulan. Yeah, you know, I meant to speak to somebody about that. So we kept sketching, and soon you became a dragon. Now we're getting somewhere. With two hands. Hey, that was Mushu, that was fun. Man, you fine looking. I don't think he needs you, Mushu. What kind of sad, show freaky looking thing is that? Oh, I have to say. Somebody cooking chicken? Ah, your tail's on fire! Ah, ah, I'm barbecuing! Look at me, lady! Ah, she's a little over her. She's a little over her. She's a little over her. You're okay, right? Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thanks for making me what I am today. Confused! And lightly toasted. So you're saying that after they got rid of all those other Mooshoes, they quickly decided on the mighty and powerful Mooshu that is me. Well, actually, no. Okay, now you're just being difficult. Once we decided that Milan's guardian should be a dragon. The next step was figuring out what kind of dragon you might be. I know that voice. Hey, that guy owes me money. That's your supervising animator. 
Hey, Tom. Hi. My super what? Hey, Rushu, how have you been? Well, apparently I've been everything except the chicken and the peanut. <laughs> well, we like you as a dragon, but there are many different kinds of dragons. I got an idea. How about a one-headed dragon? Thank you very much. Ow! Well, since there weren't a whole bunch of dragons running around for us to study, we looked at Chinese paintings, tapestries, and carvings, and discovered mm -hmm. that you're made up of a lot of animal parts. Great. I'm a Chinese hot dog. We learned that you should have the body of a snake, what? the horns of an elk, the claws of an eagle, and the face of... Red pit? Uh, a, a camel! Who was in on that meeting? <laughs> and if you look at yourself, you'll see you're the traditional S shape found in Chinese art of the time. You think this looks anything like me? What do you know about that? I was inspired by the mightiest dragons of all Chinese folklore. Go with Milan, we had to be downsized. Hey, hey, hey. I prefer travel size. Well, it was great to see you again, Wishu. Hey, give me a call. I'll give you a call. Collect! <laughs> <laughs> you just lucky my pilot light is out. There's just one thing left creating that memorable Disney character. What's that? When they bring the character to life. They have to get those moves just right, and that often means getting up, moving around, and acting it out. Oh, these people got issues. That's why I'm into there sometimes called actors with pencils. It's all starting to make sense now, isn't it, Mushu? Wait a minute, I know that voice. Of course you do. It's Pam, the producer of Mulan. That's right! How y'all doing? Hey, and you're my background hey, artist, doing, and my cleanup artist, my layout hey, artist, Mushu. and my coffee guy, and my personal trainer. Hey, looking good. Ow! Ow! Mushu, are you alright? Of course I am, because I'm an animated character. Hey! And that's why we love you. <laughs> oh, you so yeah, I can stop you up with a biscuit. Aww. What you looking at? <laughs> Nothing. Well, those two get reacquainted. How about we take a look at one of those newer Disney characters we've been working on? Newer, but not better than me, right? Right. Roll Hello. It. I am famous. The Cure Six is a story of boy and hero. Hero? Right. Who befriends this really lovable robot in Baymax. <laughs> It is all right to cry. I'm not crying. He can really do everything. Like, he can take one look at you and determine if there's something wrong with you. I will scan you for injuries. Don't scan me. Scan complete. Unbelievable. He's designed to care. That's what Baymax does. He cares for heroes. Please exercise caution. What's with you and Balloon Man? It's kind of fantastic. Baymax is my favorite. Hero and his friends are dealing with some big things, like a super villain. How cool is that? I mean, it's scary, obviously, but how cool? They become a group of heroes. Is that Baymax? Hero's friends rally together and they become a part of Big Hero 6. You guys, do you feel this? Our origin story begins. It's like a combination of all the things that I've loved about animation. Well, what's wrong with you? No battle. Big Hero 6, how else can you describe it except adventure? Comedy. It's pretty funny. Harry baby. Harry <laughs> baby. Three times the heart of any other movie out there. My hands are equipped with defibrillators. Clear. Stop, 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 stop. It's just an expression. Oh, man, I loved it. Beautiful. Two claws way up. I agree. Only one thing that would make it better. What's that? Me. You know, I come in at the end, save the day, win the girl. All right, Mushu. Look, I'm just saying a little Mushu makes everything better. I'm sure it does. Well, everybody, happy week. Oh, wait up, wait up. I got a lot of ideas here. You have 30 seconds left. <laughs> Man, you All right, one idea. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Mushu. Uh, How about that? Too many Mushu. Mushu and Tarzan, you know, the kind of mismatch uh, buddy cop kind of thing. What Mushu do you guys think? Do you like uh, the idea? How about, uh, oh, no, not really. Mushu, no, uh, you're not. Well, it is time for us to go ahead and say goodbye to Mushu. So, everybody, bye, Mushu. But that is the end of our show. If you'll go ahead and rise and head for those doors on your left, we hope you enjoy the rest of your day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Goodbye.